Hello everybody and welcome back to Low Bricks. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Collectible Minifigures Series 4. I'm going to give you my opinions on them and really give you a look at how good these minifigures are. And These are quite old so if you wanted to get your hands on them you'd have to go to eBay and scourge the, the site and refresh bids and whatnot. You know, what you gotta do to get used things nowadays. But anyway, let's get into the uh, review here. Alright, so the first figure up in Series 4 is the Elf Fisherman. I know, kind of a weird figure, but here he is. He's wearing some festive clothes with some blue short legs, and he comes with a fishing rod with no fish, but if you take a look at his face prints here, it doesn't look like that's hindered his his mood at all because he's very jolly looking maybe he is truly an elf the hat seems to suggest so kind of a weird figure but there you go there you have it the uh, elf fisherman so let's take a look at the next figure in the set all right so the next figure in the set seems to be i'm um, some sort of japanese dancer here or Asian dancer. I'm not even sure if it's from Japanese, but the way her dress is does appear to be from Japan. But yeah, she's got a white face for white makeup and along with hands and a very nice torso print, printing on the front and back. No arm printing, but this is, I think, from 2011, so that was not the standard. It also has a very nice head uh, or hair molding uh, printing up there. Some flowers. Apologize if you can't see that very well, but yes yeah, some flowers very nice looking and she comes with a fan so she can do her traditional Asian dancing so yeah pretty nice figure It's uh, definitely one of the better dancers we've gotten. I know there's one in series 7. She's like a I think, Spanish dancer. So yeah That's the Asian dancer. Let's move on to the next figure Next up, we've got the French soldier. I can tell he's French by his mustache. I mean, just look at it. And uh, by the uh, French-looking clothing. He's a pretty bare figure, but also, I really like him. I really like the, the sword he comes with here. I like, I like the front printing on the, on the mold there, even though it, it's kind of classic Lego-looking. And I mean, it's an all-right print, though. It's, it's pretty decent. And also, you can see that uh, he's got some leg printing there so that's a nice addition and the hat of course is a classic lego hat so overall an okay figure pretty pretty bland but also can't can't argue with it it's a it's a good figure i really like it but let's move into the next one okay so we have the rock and roll enthusiast is what i'm gonna call him he's got a Spanish skull there with some flowers on his shirt looking nice with some paper clipped up jeans Which are on both sides there and I can move the guitar and show you So he's got some paper clip stitchings and a, a belt and that was pretty uncommon to see belt printing back then But yeah, no printing on the back, but a pretty rocking face print there. I do enjoy it and a guitar piece and I flicked it right out of his hand Let's clip that back in there. And a guitar piece there that is pretty sick. And who could forget this guy's sweet, sweet cut. Look at it. He's got that pink mohawk rocking it like a champ. I really like this figure. But he's, he's pretty cool. And unfortunately, we do get a gender swap of him in Series 7. So there's that. So I don't know what your guys' opinions are on gender swaps of LEGO CMFs, but... Anyway, there's the rocker. Okay, the next figure in Series 4 is the Surfer Girl. She is a direct gender swap of the Surfer Boy from Series 2. So, take that for what, she, what that is. I mean, she's pretty much just a Surfer Girl in a pink jumpsuit. Which, I mean, at the time was pretty good to get. You can get these city figures and just plop them straight into your mock. So, I mean... It's not a complete downside, but she's a pretty bland figure and not one of the most exciting ones in the set. But that is a pretty cool surfboard print, I'm not going to lie. But anyway, we'll just move into the next figure. She's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so this is a rendition of a Viking, and 
he's got a really cool sword or shield printing there. I really like it. There's what seems to be some uh, dragons there in the ones and then some loops in the other. As you can see with some uh, metal bits and, and such. But I really like this figure. He's got some really cool armor and some uh, leather straps around his legs there. And also on top of that, he's got this really cool axe piece. Which is pretty much just a dark brown bit with a silver uh, axe head. But that, that axe head could have just been any, any normal color, but they made it silver. He's got a very aggressive looking face print there with a, a scar on top. And with, to top it all off, a traditional Viking helmet with gold horns. So there's that. I really like this figure. I think it's one of the best figures in the set. But anyway, there's the Viking Okay, so our next figure is Frankenstein. As you can see, he's kind of stitched together there in his torso and with some raggedy clothing and some band-aids on his forehead. And that is a very interesting forehead piece they added to get him to have the classic Frankenstein look with some sunken eyes on the face print there. I really like this figure. It's, it's a, uh, a take on Frankenstein. Well, not the classic Frankenstein, but... The more known version of Frankenstein, what is seen in the original novel. But anyway, here is Frankenstein. I think he's a really cool figure and really adds to Series 4. But anyway, there you have it. There is this figure. Let's move into the next. Okay, so next up is the hockey player. And in my opinion, I think he's the best figure in the set. Well, maybe second best. I'll talk about that a little later. But he's a really cool figure. He's got this nice uh, mold here that goes on a traditional Lego helmet to make it look like a hockey mask. And I think that's really nice looking with one of these chest pieces. And he's got some nice printing on the uh, legs there. And a pretty cool, aggressive looking face design. And of course, he comes with a hockey stick and a puck. And just as a foreclosure here, he... Uh, Comes with some ice skates, but it's not that hard, not that easy to display with the ice skates. But yeah, here's the hockey player. Really cool figure. Uh, all around really interesting and neat to look at. So, I mean, if you wanted to make a hockey team, you'd have to get a quite a few of these guys. So, anyway, let's move into the next figure. All right, so the next figure in Series 4 is another one of these kind of bland looking city figures it's the skater boy and we do have a direct gender swap of him in series seven i believe no series six series six you get skater girl so another one of these gender swap figures that are kind of just city-ish but anyway he's got a really cool hoodie torso print there and it looks on the, it's on the front and back so that's neat and he's got a beanie with a lego on it some glasses on the face print there and a really cool printing on the skateboard so an all-around cool figure but one little bland one for the set nothing that stands out but i really like this figure but anyway let's move into the next the next person on our list is the sailor and he's a really cool figure one wearing a classic navy or u.s navy suit there and the cap is tilted i really like that but overall, pretty cool torso print there. I really like it. Very useful for these people that make these uh, traditional ship mocks, like uh, World War II ships and such. And he's squinting his eye because he comes with a... Oh, dear. He comes with a telescope. So if you... I guess it should be in the other hand, but if you wanted to make him looking through the telescope, you definitely could. But yeah, there's the Sailor. Really cool figure. I really like him a lot. But let's move into the next. The next figure is a soccer player or a football player, depending on what country you're in. But this is a really nice figure for the set, at least printing-wise, because if you see, there's side printing on the legs there, and there's printing all over his, his, uh, the front of his legs, and there's also side printing on the side of his legs there. And the torso's got really cool printing, with the sponsor being Octane, of course, and they... Really nice jersey on the front with some gold tinting to it. And that continues on the back, which is really nice. And this really cool face print that's got some shaggy-looking beard. And he's really happy because he won the championship. And one of the classic hair prints there. But yeah, a really cool figure. And if you do like soccer players or football players, 
they have an entire set, which I think is the German team from 2014 when they won the championship or something like that. That is one of the CMF series. Eventually, we'll take a look at that. But yeah, you can check those out if you are interested. But anyway, let's move into the next figure. Next up is this Werewolf, which is a really cool figure. I mean, at least printing-wise. I know I say that a lot. But take a look at that printing on the pants there. I probably said that word probably six or 7,000 times this video. I apologize. But yeah, look at the printing on the pants there. It's ripped through to show that he's made his transformation into a werewolf. And the same is can be said with the, the shirt. You can see his chest underneath that is bulging with muscles and hair because he's a werewolf. And yeah, he's got this nice head printing, which I think was only used on this figure. I could be wrong, though. And a nice face printing, which is really cool. And I think I said printing for the hair, but that's not what it is. It's a molding. Whatever. But yeah, a really cool figure, and he comes with a bone. So that's a plus. He's a werewolf, anyway. So yeah, there you have it. Let's move into the next figure. Okay, this has probably got to be my favorite CMF minifigure in this set, and one of my favorite CMF minifigures of all time, the Toxic Waste Management guy. As you can see, he's wearing a radiation suit, and um, he's got a hose there that sucks the clean oxygen out of his tank. That's why he's so scared to spray it, because he has to sacrifice himself to save millions, but he's terrified. But anyway, there's that. I don't know why his hose connects to his back. That's kind of odd. But, there we go. But, pretty cool figure overall. And if we take off this helmet, we can see that he also has got printing underneath, which looks pretty neat. There's the radioactive symbol and a belt. I make sure everything's airtight so no uh, plutonium or... Uranium-235 leaks in, that would be a horrible, horrible thing. But if you were making a Chernobyl mock or a Three, Isle, three Mile Island mock, this would be your character to go to because he would be the guy cleaning out all of the radioactive material that needs to be cleaned out. With Chernobyl, you might need different figures, though, because those figures are a little more rustic. But anyway, let's move into the next figure. Okay, next up is the Painter, which is a really solid figure for this set. He comes with two really cool molds with the paint holding a piece of wood there and the paint brush. He's also got a really nice printing on the torso and legs there with some paint all over the place, which is really cool. I also like the, uh, uh, the shirt he's wearing that... There's no printing on the back, unfortunately. And he comes with a classic painter's hat. So it's a really cool figure. But anyway, let's take a look at the next one. Okay, the next figure is a figure skater. That's interesting uh, word dialogue there. But anyway, a really cool figure overall. Some nice printing on the legs and torso with a figure skater outfit. She also comes with that cloth skirt piece and a really cool face print. Overall, a really nice figure. She's got an interesting hair piece that has been used quite a lot with some other figures, in the, particularly in the CMS series. I know there is some other ones that have it. But anyway, let's move into the next figure. All right, so the last figure in the set is maybe the figure that caused the, uh, the uh, radioactive spill that the radioactive cleaner had to clean up because we have the mad scientist here. He's a really nice figure, as you can see. He's got some cool printing on the torso there with probably some dangerous chemicals haphazardly spilled onto his lab coat, but he doesn't care, let's be honest. He at least has some eye protection, though, because look at that face print. He wants to make sure those bad boys stay clean because he's got those things protected with some crazy eyebrows, and to top it off, look at that hairpiece. It's rubberized, and man, it's ridiculous. And of course, he's mixing up something fierce in that test tube there. But anyway, that is the last figure in the set. So, let's uh, get into the conclusion. Alright, so there you guys have it. There is the complete Series 4 collection. 
If you're wondering where you can find this, you actually cannot find it in stores because it's been discontinued for almost 10 years now. So if you want to get your hands on this, you're going to have to scourge eBay, sca scavenge eBay, and see if you can get a good deal on it. We got a pretty good deal, so that's why we have it. We got it sealed. If you want to check out the unboxing video, you sure can. It's on our channel somewhere. Maybe it'll be linked in the description below. I guess you're just going to have to find out. Go, go check it out. Maybe it's down there. Maybe it's not. I don't know. If you like this video, we did a Series 5 review, although the audio is a little messed up. But anyway, you should check that out too. It also might be linked in the description below. I actually have no idea if it will or not. Just scroll through our channel. You'll be able to find it. But anyway, I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, like it. If you didn't, dislike it and leave a comment why you didn't dislike it. And that would be fantastic. But anyway, I hope you guys liked it and... See you guys next time. Have a nice night.